a review segment run completely by Nintendo fans. Welcome to BNGR. So I'll just come out and say it. I'm a huge fan of rhythm games. I was always that kid who showed off his DDR skills at the local movie arcades. Oh god. So when I heard about Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy, and how it combines rhythm games with RPG elements, I was definitely intrigued. So let me show you what this game's all about. And don't judge me. So the gameplay here is quite simple. You choose four heroes from your favorite Final Fantasy games to venture out to overworlds and fight monsters to the beat. Complete the level without draining your combined HP, and you level up, getting skills and items in the sword. There are three main modes to this game, Series Mode, Challenge Mode, and the Chaos Tower. Series Mode consists of an optional opening and ending track, where you tap music notes as they get near a crystal, a field track where you travel on an overworld, sliding and tapping in a given direction, a battle track where you fight enemies through quick taps and flicks, and an event song where you hit beats while a cutscene from the game plays in the background. Beat songs in this mode, and they get unlocked in a challenge mode, where you can unlock higher difficulties for them, as well as a no-fail practice mode. Luckily, this game avoids something I like to call the music game pitfall, which is not having incentive to play the game after you beat songs on the hardest difficulty. This is done through RPG elements in the game, which give characters skills and items that are really fun to use on the battlefield. Some characters are also better at certain skills than others. However, I wish this would have had a bigger impact on the gameplay. A level 5 character is hardly distinguishable from a level 50 character, mostly because the, the actual stat changes aren't actually that big of a difference. Makes all that grinding you did in the game not mean much. Alright then, let's get on to the review. Fun. Now this game is tons of fun to play, don't get me wrong, but the RPG elements are a little bit lacking. So because of that, 8. Now looks wise, this is a fantastic looking 3DS game. The chibi models are a perfect fit for the handheld, and the environments are really well detailed, if a bit repetitive. So because of that, 9. Now sound wise, this is some of the best tracks in video game history somehow put in one little cart. I don't know how its awesomeness can even be contained. 10. And lengthwise, you're getting over 40 songs, a bunch of unlockable goodies, the Chaos Shrine to mess around with, multiplayer, and even pay DLC for a dollar each if you wish. I'd say that's pretty good. 9. Now for difficulty, I can't really give it a score here, mostly because all difficulties for this game are given to you. So I'm gonna give this game a 9 out of 10, and I can recommend this game to any Final Fantasy fan or any rhythm game fan. You will absolutely love what you got here. Buy it now. Unless you don't like Final Fantasy music, then you'll probably hate it. Alright, well that concludes my review. I'll be back next week with a review of Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. So in the meantime, check out my other videos, and this is Balrog, signing out. For more videos, be sure to click the like and subscribe button. And also check out my other series, Nintendo 101 and Balrog's Vlog. I also have a Facebook and Twitter, you know, if you want to be buds.